In this investigation, groups D and E will be measuring the temperature increase caused by the mixing of root killer and aluminum foil and salt water. I'm just going to do a demonstration for one, the low level of root killer and aluminum foil and salt water, but the procedure will be the same for the medium and high levels as well. So one thing that students are going to want to do for the groups D and E for root killer and aluminum foil and salt water, as well as the other groups that use liquids, so the cabbage juice group and the potassium chloride salt substitute group, they're going to want to take their thermometer and use a rubber band to help set the depth of the thermometer in the liquid. This will keep them from needing to try to hold it at a steady depth while they're swirling it to mix it. So uh, they can remove the lid from their cup of salt water. There's a tiny hole in the lid. They'll take the tip of the thermometer to puncture through that hole. And then they can kind of eyeball looking at the side. They want to set this depth so that the thermometer really sits in the middle of the liquid level and does not touch, poke the bottom or touch the sides. I'm going to turn the thermometer on, make sure it's reading degrees Celsius. And the procedure asks students to hold it upright in just the plain salt water for 30 seconds before re recording a starting a temperature. Mine's holding very steady at 19.1. So I'm going to record that. Now, while some students are doing this, other students will be measuring out their root killer and aluminum foil. And now we're ready to add both of these substances to our salt water and start timing and recording temperature. So to make sure that my clock is ready to go, my starting temperature is still 19.1. As a team, students will quickly lift the lid off of the cup of salt water. First pour in, I just spilled a little root killer, they won't do that. But first pour in the root killer and then follow it with the aluminum foil. The larger amounts of aluminum foil, students will probably need to kind of poke it down to try to get as much as they can into the salt water. They're going to place the lid firmly on, start the timing, and one student will be responsible for gently, but consistently and constantly swirling this um, cup of substances throughout the entire five minutes that they're recording temperature.